houses and farmland were flooded. Over 200 people were killed or injured. The reconstruction effort required a lot of heavy machinery, and Komatsu bulldozers were imported from Japan. These bulldozers worked 10 hours a day for two months, and not one broke down. Komatsu equipment earned an international reputation for durability. And so by putting quality control at the heart of our business, we were able to make extremely reliable and extremely good products. People trusted our equipment. That was huge for Komatsu. It's really what allowed the company to keep going. Komatsu subsequently underwent a rapid overseas expansion. By 2001, it had 24 factories abroad producing its machines. Komatsu had become a world leader, not only in sales, but also in maintenance. We installed GPS in our equipment. Our machines work on mountains, deep down in valleys, all over the place. In civil engineering projects, construction work, if something broke and needed repairing, we wouldn't know where someone was if they called us for assistance. So first we needed to know where they were. But just knowing where they are isn't enough. We put sensors in the engines, in the radiators, like temperature sensors, to let us know exactly what was wrong. If something went wrong, we could tell what it was. We could check on the status of our vehicles remotely. Back in the 1990s, no one else was thinking about this stuff. This enabled us at Komatsu to offer a superior service. It was a competitive advantage. Now this service cost quite a bit of money. So who should bear that cost? The customer? The benefit of this new technology wasn't obvious to customers, so we decided to cover the cost and make it part of our standard service. We were really excited to get it out there. As industrialized countries age and emerging nations grow rapidly, there is a global shortage of manpower, and the problem is getting more serious all the time. To address this, Komatsu is developing equipment that does not need a human operator. We have a driverless dump truck. It runs using what we call our AHS technology. It was in 2005 that we started a trial run with five vehicles at a copper mine in Chile. And now, today, we have them in Chile, in Australia, and other places. About 90 of these driverless dump trucks are currently in operation every day. We dispatch staff to the control centers of places where these vehicles are operating, centers staffed by people, to offer advice to our customers and make sure everything is running safely and securely, and running as efficiently as possible. Our customers have said they really, really like this service. We don't want to offer anything less. Recently, last year in fact, we also introduced what we call our smart construction concept. Before construction actually begins, we send drones out to survey the site. Then, generally on a blueprint, the parts of the land that need to be removed will be indicated. With our technology, the equipment will shape the land automatically, following the blueprint. The bulldozer will know the exact coordinates. So many degrees east, so many degrees north, as well as the elevation, how many meters up. So the bulldozer goes to precisely the right place, moving its blade in precisely the right way. It does this on its own. The bulldozers, or hydraulic shovels, send out the latest data on what land has been removed, or on how overall construction is progressing, or on what the site plan actually looks like after the machines have finished their work. The equipment sends out a constant stream of data. I think this technology is extremely useful in all sorts of ways for the site manager of a construction project. Smart construction services make up just one facet of the technology Komatsu is developing, and it hopes to employ that technology against the natural disasters the world constantly faces. Before an earthquake happens, 
we go ahead and generate a three-dimensional map of a place. Then, after an earthquake, we can compare and see what's different, where the earth moved, how we can get it back to the way it was. Also, say for instance there's a landslide, afterwards we can refer to our map and see how to move things back, or where to remove earth. I think being able to do that will have a major impact. I think we have a lot of ways we can help out. Think carefully, act decisively. Things are changing so fast these days that you have to make a lot of decisions quickly. However, you can still think carefully by constantly coming up with ideas, constantly running simulations of them. And if a certain action seems like the right one, then you have to completely go for it. Being able to execute is crucial.